Hello friends, welcome to the Cold War Prepper. This is Lee and this is the Prepper Hall ending the week of March 4th. So we're going to start, I guess, with the outdoor stuff. Um, so I picked up three tomato plants that I'll get out in the backyard today. Uh, I'm going to put two of them in, in ground-based containers and one from a hanging container. The, the other hanging container got really beat up from the sun last year. So uh, we'll just have one hanging and two ground-based and then we'll start working on the garden tower. So I did pick up uh, garlic, onions, and potatoes, and we'll get those in. Hopefully here pretty soon that the blueberry and blackberry bushes will start showing some signs of life. Uh, I did pick up the, the Mira uh, Safety Food Detoxifier, the uh, scanner, uh, radiation scanner. Now, along with the radiation scanner, I also picked up a uh, dosimeter. So this is basically a little card you can either wear it as a necklace or you can put it in your wallet. And what it does is it shows the total amount of radiation that you have, have absorbed. Um, so you know when you need to get into safety and don't be exposed to anything else. Uh, two pounds of rice because I found out that a two liter uh, jug of, of soda, once it's empty, contains it can hold four pounds of rice. A can of diced ham so, and, and then the sausage crumbles. So I did an inventory, well I checked my inventory sheet and did a whole bunch of, of uh, formulas and everything else and said, how many servings do I have of each? And I found out that I was woefully inadequate uh, in my storage of green beans, corn, sausage, and fruits. So uh, I, I want to use the diced ham and the sausage crumbles, especially in the nutrient survival uh, home style scramble, which is that can up top. And uh, then I also want to use it with uh, the, the inst the instant eggs, uh, maybe make a an omelet or something like that. But uh, what I did was I did a search of, of all my different suppliers and said who was the cheapest. So you're going to see a variety of, of uh, styles of foods that, that I ordered because I was just looking for uh, good quality at an inexpensive price. So we have Nutristore sausage crumbles, Italian style sausage crumbles. We have Alveson Farm style, oh gosh, mouthwort sliced strawberries. I found this peach cobbler kit. And so instant milk, instant butter, and I'm gonna use the uh, nutrient survival uh, vitamin enhanced butter and just mix it up and turn it into the butter I need. And that's gonna be one heck of a nutrient filled uh, peach cobbler. When I was on the aisle where the mixes were, they had the fillings and so I couldn't find peach filling. So I got a can of apple filling, but then the next aisle over, I found a can of sliced peaches. So we'll do that in the Dutch oven and see how that works. This is an old jar of Classico uh, Italian sausage uh, pasta sauce. And you notice I bought this one in June of 21. And uh, so the reason I have it out here is because guess what it is once you empty your can of pasta sauce. With the Classico, once you empty it, it is, let me get here, an Atlas Mason jar. And this is the standard size lid. So I just bought some extra lids. And, uh, but every time you empty a jar of Classico, wash it out and you've got a new mason jar. So two of the other cans that I got, I got a can of corn and a can of green beans. Uh, green beans from the Nutra store and the corn from Algerson Farms. So you can see I, I various uh, suppliers. While I was looking at those two, I found this one from Harmony House. And so this is 15 different vegetables, three servings of each kind of vegetable for $49. So that's about a dollar a serving, and that that's fantastic, especially for freeze-dried foods. Um, Helen's already taken out the celery out of it because she really likes freeze-dried celery because she can just mix exactly what it is she wants, and uh, you know, without uh, without the rest of it going bad, getting a whole bunch for us is is too much. You know, we probably go through a stalk a week, and uh, so you know, having it available in a freeze-dried pouch that's just perfect for her cooking. Then we have three cans for, of Margaret Holmes. So um, we that, we really liked the red beans and rice that we got last week. I was going to pick up three or four of those. Out of a case of red beans and rice at Walmart, I found one can that wasn't dented. Likewise, there was a half case of Hop and John. I got the one can that wasn't dented of those. And there was a case of squash with Vidalia onions. And I thought I got a can that wasn't dented until I got home. 
And then when I got home, I found out that I needed to check the top a little bit better and I needed to check the absolute bottom a little bit better. But, you know, like I said, I want the job of the person at Walmart who dents the cans prior to putting them up on the shelves because I swear they have to have a full-time team of two dozen people to dent their cans as much as I find. Okay, we got six packages of pedigree dog food to mix with their dry dog food. And then we found these Hereford, um, this is a product of Brazil, uh, shredded beef, beef brisket and um, two different styles and the roast beef. Now what happens is we bought one of the shredded um, briskets last week or two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And uh, then uh, we put it over a baked potato and that was fantastic. So we're gonna try one of each of theirs. But so far, this is a fantastic thing. And, and one package is perfect for the two of us. It's about three, 370, I believe, for a package, maybe 390. But, uh, you know, that's a meal for the two of us. So that's pretty much where we are uh, in our haul for this week. So please remember, oh, I didn't give you my books. Yeah, I did get three books. So I've joined uh, the Eucharistic Apostles of the Divine Mercy. And uh, we're working, we're forming a cynical here. And so we've got that. I'm also a member of the um, Society of St. Vincent de Paul. So those are the two church organizations I belong to. And right now we're working on the consecration to St. Joseph. Uh, so this is a 33-day uh, spiritual exercise in becoming a better father and a better husband. So those are, my, oh, in my other book, I'm going to try to learn how to can. Uh, so canning meat cooking for beginners, just like me, with a thousand recipes. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's it. That's it for this week. So please remember, be kind, polite, and respectful to each other because we got to get through this together. Take care. Bye-bye.